Today, we are going to discuss gerunds and infinitives. Gerunds and infinitives are very strange. They are words that are normally verbs, but can be used as nouns and objects when ed or ing is added to them. We will discuss gerunds and infinitives more during today's lesson. While watching today's video, you will need a pen, a highlighter, and your note-taking sheet with the list of verbs that can be followed by an infinitive or a gerund. Remember to write down any questions to ask your teacher. First, let's talk about gerunds. What are they? And when do we use them? Gerunds are normally verbs that have an ing added to the end of the word. They can be used after a verb. For example, they are used after verbs like hate, like, love, avoid, discuss, dislike, and enjoy. So, for example, in the sentence, you should avoid smoking, you will see the verb avoid is followed by a second verb, ending in ing. You will find a list of verbs that can be followed by a gerund attached to your note-taking sheet. Gerunds can also be used as the subject of a sentence. Remember, that a subject is what the sentence is about. So, for example, smoking is something you should avoid. Reading is an enjoyable activity. Notice both subjects are gerunds ending in ing. The words smoking and reading function as nouns, too. Let's look at another sentence. Drinking green tea is healthy. This sentence is about drinking green tea, and drink is part of the subject, so it becomes drinking. Gerunds can also be used after prepositions. Prepositions are words like of, from, and for. For example, in this sentence, she is afraid of flying. Flying is after the preposition of and is the object of the sentence. Another example is, I stopped him from falling down. In this sentence, from is the preposition and falling is the gerund that follows it. Here's another example. The teacher scolded us for talking. In this sentence, for is the preposition, and talking is the gerund that follows it. Let's review the gerund. A gerund is a word that is normally a verb, but when ing is added to it, it becomes a noun or an object in a sentence. Now, let's turn our attention to infinitives. Again, infinitives are verbs, but instead of adding ing to the end, we add the word to to the beginning. Infinitives can be used after verbs or adjectives and to give a reason for something. First, Let's talk about infinitives that are used after verbs. There are a list of verbs with your note-taking sheet that can be followed by an infinitive, but here are some examples. I love to swim. In this sentence, to swim is the infinitive. How about this sentence? She wants to swim. In this sentence, to swim is the infinitive. Here is another example. They need to pass the SEPA exam. 
In this sentence, to pass is the infinitive. Infinitives can sometimes be used after adjectives. So for example, in this sentence, I'm happy to see you. Happy is the adjective, and the infinitive to see comes after happy. Another example might be, he's always glad to help. In this sentence, glad is an adjective, and the infinitive to help follows the adjective. Let's try one final example. We were excited to see the fireworks. In this sentence, excited is an adjective, and to see is the infinitive that follows. We can also use infinitives to show reasons for something. For example, in the sentence, we went to the beach to relax. We use the infinitive to describe why we went to the beach. Why did we go to the beach? We went to relax. Let's practice using gerunds and infinitives in some sentences. You will need your note-taking sheet and a pen. You will also need your list of verbs that can be followed by an infinitive or a gerund. What is wrong with this sentence? I have going to the store. In this sentence, there is a gerund. The gerund is going. The verb is have. The sentence should read, I have to go to the store. The verb have is usually followed by an infinitive, not a gerund. Let's take a look at another sentence. We need finishing our homework. What is the mistake in this sentence? In this sentence, finishing is a gerund, but it should be an infinitive, because the verb need is usually followed by an infinitive, not a gerund. So it should be, we need to finish our homework. Let's try and find the mistake in this sentence. I missed to go to the mall with my best friend on Saturdays. The verb in this sentence is miss. After miss, we need to add a gerund, not an infinitive. So the sentence should be, I miss going to the mall with my best friend on Saturdays. That is all for today. Remember to re-watch this video as many times as you like. Thanks for watching, and good luck with your studies.